World War II is one of the most horrific wars in history. It's hard not to look back at all of the depressing events of the war, but along with women being more accepted in the workplace and the war helping get America out of the depression, the creation of the Ponta is another positive to come out of World War II. But it comes from an unexpected place, as some people may not know that Fanta comes from Nazi Germany. Fanta originated as a result of difficulties in pouring Coca-Cola syrup into Nazi Germany during World War II due to a trade embargo. To get around this, Max Keith, the head of the Coca-Cola Dutchland during the war, decided to create a new product for the German market, using only ingredients available in Germany at the time. But due to the war, this limited him to using products such as whey and apple pumice, or the leftovers of leftovers as Keith called it. The name was a result of a brainstorming session. It started with Keith telling his team to use their imagination, which roughly translates to fantasy in Germany, to which one of Keith's salesmen, Joe Nip, immediately yelled Fanta. During the war, the Dutch Coca-Cola plant in Amsterdam suffered the same difficulties as the German Coca-Cola plant. Because of this, Max Keith put the Fanta brand at the disposal of the Dutch Coca-Cola plant. Dutch Fanta had a completely different recipe from German Fanta, elderberries being the main ingredient. The plants were cut off from Coca-Cola headquarters during the war. After the war, the Coca-Cola Corporation regained control of the plants, formula, and the trademarks to the new Fanta product, as well as the plant's profits made during the war. Fanta production was discontinued when the German and Dutch Coca-Cola branches were reunited with their parent company. However, years later, the Pepsi Corporation launched several drinks in the 1950s. Coca-Cola competed to Pepsi by relaunching Fanta in 1955. The drink was heavily marketed in Europe, Asia, Africa, and South America. Fanta is known for its upbeat advertising. In the United States, for example, showcases the Fantanas, a group of young female models, each whom promotes an individual Fanta flavor. For the reintroduction of Fanta in the United States, Coca-Cola worked with the ad agency Ogilvy in 2001. The Ogilvy creation team created the tagline, Want a Fanta, which became the jingle for the Fantanas in the broadcast campaign. The campaign lasted from mid-2001 to October 2006. Three years later, in June 2009, Fanta relaunched the campaign. They also held a talent search for the Pineapple Fanta, and in September selected Shakira Baria to become the fourth Fantana. Fanta has a wide variety of flavors around the world, more than 90 flavors worldwide. In Siberia, Albania, Bosnia, and Croatia, and some other countries, there is a Fanta Shakata based on the elderflower blossom extract drink. Orange Fanta is also available in Canada. The formula for Canada's orange variant differs from its American and German slash European counterparts, in that the German's Fanta contains orange juice, the Canada Fanta contains tangerine juice, and the American contains neither. The other variants available in Canada are grape and cream soda, both made with real grapes. In the New Zealand market, they introduced the Fanta variants Fanta Blueberry, Fanta Sour Watermelon, and Fanta Strawberry Sherbet. Now of course, not many companies go without having some controversy. A 2005 British television advertisement for Fanta Z showed a couple enjoying a picnic on the beach and drinking their cans of Fanta Light, but then calmly spitting the drink out. Others were also shown spitting the drink out in similar ways. The viewers complained that the ad condoned spitting and that, that children were reported to have copied the ad. The majority of complaints to the Advertising Standards Authority said that the images were disgusting and thought it was inappropriate because spitting poses a health risk. The ad became restricted to the post 9 p.m. broadcast. The ASA agreed that viewers would not want children to see something perceived as antisocial, but did not consider that the images showing people spitting would cause widespread offense or pose a significant health risk. Even more controversy showed up in February of 2015. Fanta's 75th anniversary version was released in Germany, packaged in glass bottles evoking the original design, and with authentic original wartime flavor including 30% whey and pumice. It is described on the packaging as less sweet, and a German original.
original. Associated Television ad referenced the history of the drink, said the Coca-Cola company wanted to bring back the feeling of good old times, which was interpreted by many to mean Nazi rule. The ad was quickly replaced as Coca-Cola did not want backlash for this. As for Fanta today, it is Coca-Cola's go-to orange soda and is also known for its many different flavors like strawberry and grape to name a few. Today Fanta is enjoyed all across the world, and if you are wondering what my opinion on Fanta is, or if you're wondering if you should try it yourself, please keep watching to see what me and my friends think of Fanta. Thank you guys all so much for watching, I will see you next time. Hi guys, I'm Tyler the Big Arby here, I'm here with Steven and my friend Ashley, and we are going to be reviewing her- also, I'm not your friend. Sorry, my friend Steven and my friend Ashley. <laughs> uh, they know who you are. That's true. <laughs> And we are going to be doing her favorite soda, Fanta. I already done Orange Crush, or as I say, a Fanta, but everyone gets mad at me when I say it that way. Well, the commercial goes, Fun. Don't you want a Fanta? Ah, okay. I, so I think that's the proper way really? to say it. Really? It's Fanta? I don't uh, actually, know I think that's just the Mexican commercial. <laughs> the Mexican commercial? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I call it Fanta. Everyone, says, everyone else says Fanta. I don't really care how you pronounce it. It's like caramel and caramel. I don't care. So. I guess let's try it. Oh, and plus also we're going to be comparing the high fructose to the cane sugar version. The, the main reason I love this soda, is it's a nostalgic thing for me. Um, when I was little, we used to go over to my grandpa and grandma's house uh, every week for Sunday dinner. And my grandpa had these like huge, like just boxes and boxes of Fanta uh -huh. in his basement. Um, he had orange and purple, and we would always drink those for Sunday dinner. We would always bring up a couple of cans, and some people would have grape. Orange yeah. was my favorite. But it's mostly a nostalgic thing because it reminds me of my grandpa. Oh, nice. It's strange, uh, like when I'm smelling it. So, Orange Crush, I know, smelled a lot like orange juice. Like, I you got that. This smells like, um,. Like, I once had these things, like, you know the orange juice you get when it's, like, completely frozen in that cylinder, and you pour it in, and then you mix yeah, it? Yeah, it kind of so, does smell like that. No, this one smells more like, they had one where orange was mixed with tangerine, and it's smelling like that to me, so it smells a lot more... It does, it does smell like there's some other fruit A little tangerine. Yeah, yeah, really like tangy. Tang. Yeah. Yes. So, or, as Orange Crush just smells like orange, it smells like there's something more, which I guess we'll see if that's good or bad representing orange soda, so let's try it out. Right, well, I drink enough to know my opinion. Uh, Fanta, almost everyone knows Fanta. It's one of the most famous, I, I don't know if Crush or Fanta is leading the market right now, but those two are definitely the most well known. And really, it's hard for me to decide. This one seems a bit more sweet than Crush. As Crush more focuses on being orange, this one focuses on being more sweet, which it doesn't do wrong either way, because I think orange sodas are more, even though I love them, it seems like they're more marketed towards kids at some time, at some points, but I still love it because it's orange soda and I love Fanta. <laughs> I feel like Ashley, I already know what you're going to say, so. Um, yeah, it does, when I, when I think about it compared to, to orange crush, it does have more of like that fruity tang. Yeah. to it um but i really i really like it it's it's really smooth i feel like it has a nice balance of the the flavor and the carbonation i mean you still get the little bubbly kick from it yeah um but it definitely doesn't hide the flavor behind the carbonation yeah well i i think i'm gonna need to drink a little more of it to <laughs> finalize my opinion yeah <laughs> i kid uh, I think this stuff is pretty good, you know. I'm hoping the sugar one is better, of course, because that seems to be the way these things usually go, but no. I think Fanta does a pretty good job of doing an orange soda. It's It's got a distinct orange flavor that I'm used to drinking in orange soda, which, when I was a kid, in terms of soda, you know, the fruity kinds were in fact my favorite, which is why, why, as you said, they market this thing to kids for a good reason. It's appealing to their taste buds, and even now, it's still really appealing to my taste buds. Yeah. And I don't think I can add any more to what they've said. It is it is a good orange soda. Well, Fanta Orange uh, with high fructose corn syrup, um, I think, that it, like, at first I was saying Crush is my favorite, but now I taste it, it's like, I love them both for different reasons. Kind of how I feel about Pepsi and Coke, even though 
I don't really drink them that much anymore. I love them both equally, except for different reasons. So with Hanta and with and Crush, I think I'm gonna give the same rating I gave the other one, which is just an eight out of ten. It's great and I love it, but I kind of no but. That's it. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Nice. I don't remember what I gave Crush, but I would imagine it'd be about the same. I'll split the difference and go for an 8.5. I'm surprised you didn't go for a 10. <laughs> well, there are a few perfect things in this world. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, now it's time to try the cane sugar Fanta. Because I would argue, since we were all born in the 90s, would, we say, would you say we're in the age where cane sugar started to fade away in high fructose corn syrup? Well, I actually did a paper on cane sugar, uh -huh. and uh, it was eliminated due to some tariffs, tax tariffs, and then uh -huh. they, we kept it because because it's cheaper, and that's really the only reason why we kept it. Uh, the smell is a lot, as I've noticed this with most cane sugar sodas, as I learned last fall, the smell is a lot weaker, and it's very similar to the other Fanta, it's just weaker. Yeah, it's yeah. weaker, it smells less, well, for lack of a better word, less carbonated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I say, uh, are we ready to drink? Yep. All right. Well, I'll start, um, Fanta with cane sugar is similar to Fanta with high fructose corn syrup, except that I find it more fruity and a lot less carbonated. Um, it seems like they focus more on the orange flavor, which I noticed that with a lot of orange or fruit flavored cane sugar sodas, that they focus more on, uh, how fruity it is compared to how sweet it is. This has a lot more orange, which is a little bit different than the high fructose corn syrup, but it still tastes really good. I love orange soda, so... I don't really have any complaint that now it tastes more orange-like to me. Something about the flavor of this just doesn't work for me quite as well as the high fructose corn syrup version, which is kind of strange because I, I've been bred by you to basically believe cane sugar is supreme, but... Well, not every single cane sugar not, is Not every single good. time. We, we have come across those before. Yeah. And for me, I would have to say that Fanta with cane sugar is one of them. Okay. Um, compared to Crush that has cane sugar in it, yeah. I definitely like that one better, yeah. the Crush with cane sugar. Something about that one just works a little, yeah. a little more. They definitely put a lot of emphasis in making this one taste like orange. Um, I kind of feel similar to Steven, that taking away the carbonation kind of took away a little bit of, of the, the kick of, yeah. of the Fanta. Um, but it's definitely not bad by any any stretch of the imagination. I, I would still drink this yeah. all day. Well, uh, my rating, since it's very similar to the high, in the high fructose, except that they focus more on the orange, the less carbonation is a bit of a downfall because I think I need that balance with it. I'm going to give this, I'm going to go again, I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10 again. I'm going to give this a 7.5. And I'll I'll just go down half a percent and go to eight. You go down to eight? Yeah, an eight out of ten. Alright, well everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.